Lawrence, so this is Philippa and today we're going to be painting rainbow trees. If you'd like to join us in painting rainbow trees, then all the equipment that you'll need will be in the description below. Right, let's get right. started. The first thing we're going to do here, okay, Flo, is we are going to put in our sky. Okay, so can you see our sky, we're also going to put in our water. So what colour should our water be? Blue. Blue? So, what I'm going to do first is we're going to paint all our background blue, okay? But, we're not going to paint it one colour blue, because that's a bit boring. Mm, dark blue and light blue? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I never really mix my colours on the palette. So, just look down here because we're not going to be on there anyway. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure my brush is going backwards and forwards, or side to side the whole time. Can you just hold your hand out and do that for me? So it goes one way and then the other way. Yeah. Okay, so that way we get a really nice blend. I'm going to do that all the way down my page, right to the bottom, going horizontal. Do you know what way horizontal is? That's it. So side to side, because that's the way the water and the sky will go. Sound okay? Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to show you first and then you're going to crack on as well. I'm going to put a little bit of water on my brush. Okay, so a little bit of water is going on my brush there and wiping that off. Now I'm going to load this up with white. So when I say load it up, it means put plenty on. Okay, so can you see? I'm pulling that right out nice and flat, aren't I? Uh -huh. Do you know, I'm going to take the smallest skim of blue because I want it really light blue so that all our trees stand out. So can you see? I've got a tiny little bit of blue on there. Like guys. Okay, once I've got that on my brush, I'm going to do a first little bit, then you can. I'm going to go side to side. Now, what this should do is it should give us some white, it should give us some blue, or give us some light blue, darker blue. Just kind of give us lots of nice different shades of blue through there. Okay, I'm going to carry that on all the way to the bottom. As soon as I get these little bits here, why do you reckon I've got them little bits? So we can blend? Well, we're going to blend, you're right. But also, if I get these little white bits here, that means I don't have enough paint on my palette, on my brush. So as soon as I get that, I'm going to take more of this white. Can you see I'm pulling it out? And I'm going to take a tiny little bit more blue. Okay? And I just start again, ready? And I'm going backwards and forwards, or I'm going side to side with my brush. Would you like to do that now? So, I'm going to pull that white out nice and flat, Florence. That's it on both sides. Put it on both sides of your brush. Perfect. See it? Brent? That's it. And then remember, keep it in the centre. And you're going to go side to side. And that, that's brilliant. Have you done this before? Your surname isn't Van Gogh, is it? Or Florence Picasso, the famous artist. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do that all the way down to the bottom. Can you see how we're getting a lovely different color blues in there, or tones of blues? Yeah? Just keeping it nice and steady. What's your favorite thing about painting, Florence? That you have a perfect picture afterwards. Oh, wow. Do you know what, the, as well, the perfect picture is whatever you want, isn't it? Because you, if it's good to you, then it's perfect. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. A bit nervous doing it next to yours, Florence, because you're doing so well. You're going to show me up. Yours is going to be better, a lot better, I think. So remember, keep your brush going horizontal the whole time, because that's the way the sky and the water goes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's from side to side. If we went up and down, do you know what we'd have? What? Rain and a waterfall. <laughs> Wouldn't we? Yeah. That's it. 
Now, if you're feeling like it's a bit dry, you can always put a bit more water on your brush. Going really smooth there. Remember, take your time. Do you know, the really good artists take a very long time to paint pictures. And I, and I always say, it's quantity, no, quality over quantity. Unless we're talking about chocolate. Do you know what that means? No. It means it's quality, so like it's really good over the amount. So it's like one really good piece of art rather than lots of okay pieces. Yeah. yeah? So That is beautiful. Now, do you know what we're going to do? What? Now we've done that. Do you know what these are called? This is called a blending brush, guys. So you watch this. If I go from side to side, just really gently, all the way up, it smooths out all my imperfections. So that means it just gets rid of any marks that I don't want. So I've done mine, so you're going to do the same. Remember, you're going to go from side to side, right off the page. You're going to do that all the way up to the top. Do it really slow, like you're tickling it. Beautiful. And then you come back the other way. Oh, my goodness. You've done that before, haven't you? your brush in the water now what we're going to do before we can go any further before we can put our trees on or our reflections we're going to have to let that dry so guys so if you want to take a break for five ten minutes let it dry when you come back you'll know if it's dry if you just touch it with your little finger okay and no paint comes off it's dry but only touch it really gently this is acrylic paint so it will dry incredibly fast so for our next bit we're going to put in this line here okay so where the land meets the water, okay? So for that, I'm just gonna take my pencil and just about, just below halfway down my page, I'm gonna just draw a horizontal line. Don't worry if it's not straight because we're gonna be putting our land in there, okay? So just about, just below halfway. Remember, that's it, just take it right the way across. Perfect. Okay. So for our next bit, we're going to be using a long bristle brush. Can you see, Flo? Where's your long brush? Can you see? It's got these lovely long stems. Okay. These lovely long bristles. What that means it's really good for is it means I can get a nice long tree trunk in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in some tree trunks. Just to blend out a minute. Okay, I have got five tree trunks. So I think I'm going to go for four. What, how many would you like to go for? Three. Three. And try and spread them evenly apart. Mm -hmm. So then it's not too squishy in or they're not just in the middle. Here is, this is heavy bodied acrylic. So this means if I turn this plate upside down, none of this paint, paint will come off because it's really heavy and thick. So I need to make add some water to dilute it down. Okay, so I'm going to put some water on my paintbrush and I'm pulling out my paint. Just take a second. Oh, no, you can do it. Pick up your paint palette. So hold it in front of your flow like this. So hold it over your plate. And can you see, I'm just pulling that out. I'm going to give myself some pencil marks so that's where I'm going to start my tree. So I'm going to have one here. I said, how many did I say? Four, one. I'm going to then do the same space again, so two, and then similar space again, three, and then I'm going to put another one here, four, so one's going to be on the edge. Okay, now I've got done my marks, I'm going to hold my brush just above it, I've got plenty of water and paint on my brush, 
I'm going to hold it up right below and I'm not going to push any weight down. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to go wee and just stop before I get to the top. So I hold it right upright, that's it, and then pull it right to the top. Perfect. You need a little bit more water in your paint, okay? So a little bit more water in your paint. Don't worry if it gets a little drop on the bottom. We're going to put some black bushes in front of that. And again, the same here. And on my next one. And I'm going to pull that one up there. Okay, there that's it and your next one put, remember put some more water on there that's it beautiful and lovely so they have tree trunks they have leaves what else sticks stems yeah. or branches yeah right so ready just watch again so my branches are going to be really nice and thin so from there I'm just going to pull off just one I might have put another one on it and can you see I'm just being ever so light and delicate can you do the same on yours so branches they come upwards rather than straight out so again I'm going to put it through here <gasps> they're amazing well done. It's much easier when you've got. Okay. <coughs> So, now we've done that part, we are going to put on all our colourful leaves. What we need to do is put on some lovely leaves. So can you see, we've got all different colour leaves on our trees, making real rainbows. So, on my palette, I've got some pink, I've got green, yellow, purple and blue. So I'm going to use pink, green, yellow and purple. Okay, and you've got three trees, so you need to choose three colours. Yeah. Now, is it all right if I just show you a technique to get your, create your leaves? Yeah. So I'm going to use kind of a round brush here. Can you see? And it's got a little bit of a fluffy end to it. Now, I don't want any water on this brush. I'm going to use, and what I want to get is some texture from my leaves. Do you know how I can get texture? By dabbing it. By dabbing it. Are you sure you're not a relation to Picasso? Okay, so what I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna do my pink. So Florence, every time I take some pink, just gonna pop it in there like this, I'm not just gonna take pink. Do you know what other color I might take with it? Because I wanna get different white. shade. White, that's right. Because I wanna get different shades of pink. So if I take some white on the end, just like this, really, just gonna pick it up. So it looks like an ice cream, okay? So I'm not mixing it. As I dab, okay, or I should get pink come off, I should get light pink come off, and I should get some white come off. Now, I'm going to do just this tree here with my pink and white, okay? Do we do it over the branches? We're going over the branches, good point. But I want to leave some of the branches out, just so, just little bits, just so that it looks more realistic. So if you could watch me do one, ready? So I'm going to start at the top here. And can you see? Do you know what this is called, this technique? Dabbing. It could be dabbing or stippling. Some people will say dotting. Can you see, as I'm doing it, I'm getting different shades, aren't I? Uh -huh. As soon as I'm starting to run out, I'm thinking, picking up all pink and white. Do you have any questions you want to ask me while we're doing this bit? Can you add, so could you just do the colour by itself? The pink, yeah. you could, but you wouldn't get like, well, this gives you more of a 3D effect. Whereas if you just do one colour, mm -hmm. well, you it could add... It looks like just a blob. 
it could it could go a bit blobby. You're not going to see quite as much texture through there. Does this make sense how I'm doing it, Florence? So I've just given myself little gaps. Mm -hmm. Are you all right to start your? So when doing it, Florence, I'm going to come right down to the bottom of where, where my line sits. I'm going to come right down there. That's it. That's beautiful. And we'll keep picking up the paint so you've got a lot of paint on your brush. And make sure you can still see your tree trunks as well. When you finish your first tree, we're going to wash out our brush. This is your artist rag, guys. So when you're ready to go on to your next one, just take your artist rag and your brush and give it a wipe on there. And then you can make sure all your colours out of it, ready for your next one. I think my second tree is going to be... I'm going for yellow, like you. So I'm going to take a big bit of yellow there and I'm going to then take some white. Again, I'm now going to dot on there. So we don't want to put the yellow reflection under the purple tree, we'll get confused. When we're doing this, Florence, we're going to use one of these very small flat brushes. Okay? Uh -huh. So just one like this. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some water on my brush. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm, so I'm diluting that paint. Do you remember how we did it when we did the tree trunks? We added some water to it. So I don't want it too thick. And all I'm going to do then is I've put my paint on there, but not only am I taking the pink, I'm going to take a tiny little dot of white. So you're going to take your yellow, and then I'm just going to come now, Florence, with my brush, so it's not vertical anymore, it's horizontal, so it's facing that way. Ready? And my, I'm just going to skim my hands, and you see, just over there, so I'm just coming backwards and forwards, ever so gently, and then, once I've done that, I'm going to take a dry brush. So, that's it. And I'm just going to pull that out. So, can you see that, Florence? And I take my dry brush and I'm just pulling it out there. That is beautiful. Come all the way to the bottom, or almost to the bottom. And I'm going to do that with every colour. You might want to use your fan brush. This one. Yeah. That's it. Just pull that across. Yeah. You can try that one. Might have a little bit of pink in it. 
Charlie, beautiful. Oh. No, you're going to carry on with your next brush. The same brush, but we need to wash it out. Remember, where's our artist rag? So we can check that we've got no paint left in our brush because I don't want pink with my yellow. So ready? We'll open that out. Give it another wipe until I'm good to go. Perfect. And now I'm going to take my yellow. Adding some water to it. My water's a bit blue. Probably could have done with washing that out. And a little bit of white. And again, I'm coming down here and look at that. Just smearing it through there. Just nice and gently going horizontally with my brush. I'm then going to take my blending brush. And again. Oh, Florent, look at that. Lovely colours. So that blending brush is there when you're ready. Doesn't have to be a specific blending brush, just a dry brush is good. I'm going to take my green now. That's it. And then you're blending. And my green's going to come along here. Got some there, I don't know. Oh, sorry, don't worry too much because they're all blending a little bit. Beautiful. Can I borrow it now, please? Yeah. And then, what's your last colour? Uh, blue. Blue. So, because your water's blue as well, I wouldn't put any white with that one. Just, just some blue, yeah. Wiping that off that green. Don't want that green in my purple. Beautiful. And this time I'm going to take my purple. A little bit of water. And again. Lovely reflection now, haven't we? Taking it all across it. Okay, so do you know what we're going to do now? We are going to put in a little bit more of our branches because if you can see, we want them to be a little bit thicker. So all we're going to do is we're going to use our long brush again. Now this time I'm going to put some water on my brown, but not as much as I did before. Okay using my long bristle brush. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white below as well. So can you see Florence? I've got some brown on there and a little bit white. And then all I'm going to do is very carefully kind of go over some of what where I've been already with my branches. So can you see I'm just going just over the top some of my leaves and put my, some of the branches back in. Yeah? Okay, so for our next bit, we're going to be putting in the long grass at the back here. We are going to start off by taking that very small flat brush again. So this one here, Florence. And I'm just going to add just a little bit, not too much, of water to my black paint. Remember, keep it on both sides of your brush. Just watch a minute, Flo. 
I'm going to take it, my brush horizontal, so that's that way again, and I'm going to drag it all the way along my pencil line. Oh. I'm going to drag it all the way in between the water and where the trees are, just along the bottom. Now, I'm going to do another whip for my brush with that, just to make sure I don't get messy. So that means I'm going to touch what I just did, last bit, and I'm going to move up and just go up just one more whip, so one more line across there. Does that sound okay? Good. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay, so that can go in the pot now. Do you know what this brush is called? Uh, no. You don't know? This is called a fan brush. And I think it's called a fan brush because it looks like a fan. Now, fan brushes are really good for making grass. So, if you hold your hand out again, nice and flat, and you want to be just using the tips of your brush, so and you'll just flick, so we don't go up and down with it because we get a flat line. We just go flick up. Sound okay? Right, so just watch a minute. Right, so I need to put some water in my black paint. Not loads, but a little bit, just like this, Florence. Then, once my brush is like that, I'm gonna just come to the top of my black line, okay? So a little bit lower than my black line. And I'm just gonna come along and I'm flicking. Can you see, Florence? Not going too high, am I? I'm just flicking it up. And then as soon as it starts to dry out, I'm going to put some more paint, water in my paint and pick up again. Can you see that? So to make it nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Does that sound okay? Can you do that for me? Yeah. That's it. Remember and just flick up. That's it. You might need a little bit more water in your paint. Yeah, pick some paint up first. See it? Beautiful. So remember, just keep it going up, 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 up. Perfect. Gorgeous. Happy? Right. So this time we're going to do the same again, but I'm going to do it along here. Okay, so remember it just goes up, up, up. So if I, I'm not going to put as much water in my paint now. I'm ready, and I'm just going to come along here, and I'm just flicking up. Can you see that? As soon, if it feels like it's not moving, then I need to put a little bit more water on it. So I'm just coming up, up, up. Beautiful, love that. Wow. Oh. Got a bit of competition now, have I? I'm loving that, Florence. So you're doing it with that side of your brush. Beautiful. Very nice. Well, if you're doing it that side of your brush, I'm going to do it that side as well. So Florence, so I've been using my brush that way, horizontal, but Florence had hers vertical. So I'm going to try vertical and then she was just going up and creating all this lovely long grass. So it's a flick, flick. Very nice. So remember, keep the brush going up. That's it. Beautiful. You know, I think I'm going to put a few longer bits up here as well, Florence. Not too many, just a few. You've inspired me. I am finished. Are you finished? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Here's our rainbow tree, guys. 
Thanks for joining us, everyone. If you did manage to follow along today, then um, please send us a picture. We'd love to see it. And thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.